her life with um, well with Asperger's actually. That's right. Yeah, which is a form of autism. That's right. Yeah, right. it's called a subgroup. One of the subgroups. Sub and but you've got two daughters with autism or Asperger's. Um, one has Asperger's and one has autism. I mean, it's thought, isn't it, that that um, there is an autist. Uh, we now know there is an autistic spectrum. Yeah. And frankly, it's almost getting to the point where I mean, it's a matter of degree, isn't it? Could all of us be autistic to some degree, or? I'm not sure. I mean, there is a very clear triad of impairments that have to be met. But I think, I mean, we spoke to um, a gentleman called Bob Buck Buckley in Australia and we asked for, you know, if the prevalence is this for males and that for females, what is the, the you know, the prevalence the level of the population as a whole? That are undiagnosed, yes. talking about females. And he, we, we did some maths and I think it works out to about 240,000 undiagnosed women just in the UK. Gosh. And on a global scale, that is 17 million women who have gone undiagnosed globally. I mean, that's huge. You were mm. telling us about what life was like for you, undiagnosed. Yeah. Uh, and, and the effort, you didn't know you were doing it because you were doing it in, intuitively. But yes. the effort you put in all your all your young life mm. to feeling a bit different, trying to gauge the world, trying to put on a face, yeah. and then coming home and, you know, getting anxious about it, uh, yeah. not surprisingly. Um, those undiagnosed females um, must be going through hell, really. Yeah, I think... And not knowing why. Well, this is why a year ago we formed Autism Women Matter, myself and Monique Blakemore. Um, the reason for doing so is to support these women that there's no support there for them. So <sighs> it's very much that we will support their needs to maybe address a diagnosis if they feel they want an official one. Not everybody does, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But it's more about giving them their self-identity and some support and self-understanding. So it's 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 quite a, a tricky thing for Autism Women Matter because not only are we trying to help the undiagnosed women, we're also enabling and helping the professionals understand yes. the undiagnosed yes. women. So it's it's very much a two-way well, thing. Presumably they were both professionals professionals and, and people who are suffering from um, uh, at, at Geneva when, when you were giving your speech. Well, who was in the audience? Um, well, there was a lot of, to be honest with you, when it came to the speech, all I saw was my bullet points <laughs> and, 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 yeah. and a blur. You didn't look at the audience in the eyes, no, I no. <laughs> totally understand that. But on the panel, we had a lady from um, France who was, again, diagnosed with Asperger syndrome as an adult. Mm. We had um, Lydia, who is the um, head of the International Alliance for Women, and a lovely lady from New York called Dina Gassner. Again, she has um, autism, was diagnosed as an adult because she has autistic children, recognise the profile. Mm -hmm. And when we were all sat there, we hadn't heard each other's stories before because we've come from different parts of the globe, and we all had exactly the same life pattern. It oh. was, yeah. Goodness me. Yeah. And, and you held it together quite well, you were saying it.